All right, so hopefully this makes sense to some of you. I feel like when I get, I, I, I do this a lot with people, the people I know, uh, where I get into something and I just kind of try to explain it, and sometimes it doesn't make sense. Uh, I can't, I, I, I struggle with explaining things. I have autism and all this other stuff. So I'm going to try to explain this the best I can. If you're dealing with if you're dealing with temptation and you want to overcome that and you believe in God, you believe in the Holy Spirit, you know, you, you believe in the story of Jesus, you believe in the Holy Bible, you believe the Bible is the word of God, etc. It's you believe all the stories that have happened. I mean, you can you could ex, you could explain all the stories in the Bible with science if you wanted to, which is really really interesting and, and odd, right? Because if the Bible is the word of God, and then science is the word of man. Right? Because some people look at it like that. Somehow it, cor it correlates. Somehow they connect. You know, uh, I I'll give you one right now. The story of Moses. Uh, he had all the Israelites with him. And, and he had to split that Red Sea. Because th these Egyptians were coming after him. And he, he had cried out to God. You know, there was a storm going on, too. He had cried out to God, and God split the sea for him. And uh, there is a phenomenon that happens, like, it happens in lakes and stuff. There was, um, basically what happens is a phenomenon in the, in, the, in the water that causes the, the uh, water to spin and it goes down, like it goes down, like it creates a path almost. That, 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 that's a real thing. I wouldn't doubt that that's what happened. And I know some of you are probably thinking, no, no, you're, 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 uh, you're, you're trying to disprove God. No, no, no. I'll explain why with this. And yes, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to the point. I'm going to get to the point how to deal with temptation, but I want to kind of talk about my knowledge of everything right now, what I believe in. And uh, so there's dimensions, right? There's the first dimension, which is just a dot. And then there's the second dimension where it goes left to right. It goes across, right? Front, back, left, right. Uh, second, third dimension is you're able to go up down left right so uh that's why you're able to see objects like you can see this uh you can see this basketball hoop you can see the trees you can see the leaves um if you put a person in front of you and had them rotate at 360 degrees then you'll you will have then once that rotation has finished you will have then seen all of that person you will then have seen all of that person once it has finished. It would all the information would go into your head, and now you can think. Now you can look back at that and be like, okay, he his their their shoulder looks like this, or their face, the top of their head over here somewhere. Like now you there's that. So in the fourth dimension, if you put a person in front of you, they wouldn't have to rotate because you would be seeing all of them at once. Um. Which explains why, if you were in the fourth dimension, you'd be able to see through these walls. You know, if you're, at, if you're in your house, you, if you're in the fourth dimension, you'd be able to see through the wall. Because you're seeing all of it at once. That's like the easiest way I could explain it. I can't really go into massive detail about it. But uh, then, you know, the dimensions go on and on and on and on, science says, you know. And so... I believe there is a spiritual world. There is a battle going on. There is a world amongst ours, and that is a spiritual world, and that there is a massive battle going on, and the battle is for your soul. Your soul is incredibly important. I mean, there's a battle going on for it, right? So uh, that, that your soul's got to be really important. So, c continuing on, I believe that our spirits which are your guides. They're the ones that guide you and lead you down things, etc., etc. Uh, they're the pushers of your actions kind of thing, right? 
and really you you don't want to you don't you don't want to worship any of them the only one you should worship is the spirit of god and I know a lot of you probably think okay uh explain worship and how that is the pusher of your life because i know a lot of people you know maybe maybe you you like eating a lot right you're like i'm not worshiping a spirit i'm just eating you're eating a lot though you're receiving something from it and then once you're done it, it you know, like you get your stomach you get an upset stomach you're like oh man you just keep eating anyway it's so good so this is how i've been kind of looking at it if you're uh there's uh in human history there were you know angels or you know heaven history i guess angels and then in human history there's you know the first people that were kind of a certain way uh this is mind you i don't know everything people can correct me please i'm 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 i real I'm, I'm learning and i'm open to anything that is that is about this you know what i mean like i i i'm just explaining where i'm at right now and what i believe right now so I could explain like the spirit of Aphrodite, which is the spirit of love and lust and sex, immoral sex and sexual immortality, immorality. It really is the wrong way to use it, I guess. Right. Which is basically pornography. You know, uh, I don't know if it's a Hebrew or uh, what, what, if, what it is, but uh, porn is means uh prostitute it means prostitute pornea means uh, i think there's it means something else but it, it's along the same lines of prostitute and which makes sense you know you go online you're watching porn or something right if you're watching these like big studio freaking porn companies you're watching their content it's people being paid to have sex and they share it you know, they're getting paid for sex. And, and, you know, what is money? Money, the love of money is the root of all evil. Right? That's, that's, that's kind of where that's at. Um, you, you you know, maybe you go to the store and you, you see someone. Heck, I don't care who you are. You might see a 15-year-old. You might see a 20-year-old. You might see a 40-year-old. It doesn't matter. You... If you have lustful thoughts, you've you've had lustful thoughts for all of them. If you if you do struggle with lust, you know don't don't deny it. Yeah, you, you, you got to be a realist, kind of. You know, I was I was at church the other uh, last Sunday, and they were talking about I think it was Isaiah. Ah, uh, I could be really wrong. I could be very wrong. You guys can correct me on this. Um, went into a valley of dry bones and. And uh, God said, speak to them and bring them back to life. If you spoke to the bones, would they come back to life? And, and uh, he said, I don't know if it was Isaiah or who it was. I, I, like I said, I could be very wrong about that. He said that, uh, you know, I, you know uh, only you know. You know, like, only you can do that. You know, only you know if I can do that. I don't know. I, I can't do that. And I could, I could be getting this uh, story slightly twisted a little bit but I, I i i'm i'm trying to remember as much as i possibly can um and that's what we have to do what, what what did he say you know god said uh bring the bones back up to life you know can you bring these bones back to life and he's like only you know you know i don't know i can't do it but i know you can god that is what we need to start doing in the midst of temptation. So, uh, going back to what I believe, if you're becoming tempted with food, let's say you already ate and you're like, oh man, I can eat some more. You know that you should stop, right? Maybe your stomach's starting to hurt. You know, you go back. You're, that, that spirit of gluttony is pushing you. Is pushing you 
and and you think about it and you're thinking about food right you're like oh man i could eat more of that pie or i could eat the more I could, oh that's so good you're worshiping it you are worshiping the spirit of gluttony if you're thinking about uh you know the girl down the street right you're thinking man i can't wait to 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 have sex with her or you you're 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 uh, you're at school or you're at work or whatever and you're thinking the same thing with people there and you're and you're just thinking about it you're like oh man i really like that that's that's the best this and that and it's perfect yeah that's it's gonna feel so great or you think of like you know pornography you're like man i can't wait to go home so i can freaking watch porn i can I, it feels great it's so good you are worshiping you know you go and you do that you commit that action you're worshiping that spirit So if you start feeling resentful towards somebody, or if you start feeling lustful and that urge is growing and growing, or you start feeling that, that you start feeling uh, 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 hungry for, but like you're not right. You, you get what I'm saying. You don't get, you get what I'm, you get where I'm coming from. Do not respond to it. Do not say, Mmm, what sounds good right now? Or, I can't wait to, or, you know, I, I wonder what I want to look at. Um, or, I wonder uh, what drug I should use when I get home. Or, or, or how much of it should I use when I get home? Should I do a little bit? You're just constantly thinking about that. Instead of doing that, the, the moment, uh, and, and mind you, you're not going to catch on, to, you know, it, it, it maybe, maybe, I, 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 bl I hope in, in, in God, I hope in Jesus' name that it catches on right then and there. But for those that, for those that sit, that uh, go through it not catching on so soon, don't give up. And uh, the answer is this, every time you feel tempted, every time you feel that temptation, go to God. Instantly, instantly. It's not. It's not that you thought about, or or, or the thing. The th it's not that the thought came to you that you're not worthy of God. And honestly, it's not even the thing you acting on it. You know, whether you knew, if whether you knew or not, you know, if you feel guilty afterwards, you have the Holy Spirit in you. You have the Holy Spirit. If you've done it. And even if you willfully did it and you got done doing it and you're like, man, I shouldn't have done that. I feel like an idiot. You start hating yourself and all that, that kind of thing. That is before you dive too deep in that self-hatred, know that that is the Holy Spirit. It doesn't like those things. You are part of the Holy Spirit. You are like that. That's what that is. I know a lot of people think, well, it hates me. no. No, you are part of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, God, wants you. He, he's, that is God grabbing you and pulling you back home. That is you being a child and you're sad, you're upset, you're depressed. You know, you hate yourself because you did this. That feeling of guilt is God grabbing you and pulling you back home and that feeling of fear is the result of the guilt you fear that God is going to throw you into the pits of hell but God does not do that that is done on your own free will and how do you do that how do you willingly let yourself go into the pit of hell that is by worshiping other spirits that is by doing the actions that these spirits are called to do right if you if you're if you're watching pornography or you're going out having casual sex you're worshiping the spirit of aphrodite right if you're going out just eating a bunch of food junk food whatever you don't care and you're just stuffing your face and you're like, oh man, I can't, I gotta finish this, etc. Cetera, et cetera. You're, you're worshiping the spirit of gluttony. If you, if you honestly, uh, 
you know, there's some things that I was I was gonna bring up, but you get the point. Go to God. You know, you say porn is so good. You say you say this sandwich is so good. You say this and that. You say these drugs are so good. Replace that with you on your knees. You in this position of just, uh, honestly, I would say uh, obedience. And you, instead of saying these drugs are good, this porn is good, this this food is is good, say this, say God is good. God is perfect. I mean, what is the love letter, the, the, the countless love letters that you would send to all the girlfriends that you've ever had in your life or your boyfriends or all of these love, like that type of intimacy. And I think people struggle. Sometimes people think about it and they're like weird about it. Cause they, cause everything is so demoral, immoralized now. 100% be intimate with God. No, not sexually. That's what I'm saying. Everything is so immoralized and worldly and sick and evil and twisted instead of wanting these other things you must want God instead and I know a lot of people are probably thinking eh, you know maybe even at this point I it doesn't make any sense to me I, I shouldn't have to I shouldn't have to be a slave or no, no, no. You're, you see, you're saying you're, 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 you're putting slave and obedience together. No, stop. When you were a kid, right? When you were a kid and, and, and your parents told you to come inside. Did you go inside? If you did, you're being obedient. You're not a slave because you want to be outside. And then your parents say, come inside. And you're like, oh, okay. No, no. You're being obedient. And it's the same thing too. If you're if you're going out and you're having casual sex, you're being obedient to the spirit of lust. If you're going out and you're you're just eating, you're eating, you're eating, you're eating, you're obe- you're obedient to the spirit of gluttony. Let go of them. It says it in the Bible. Jesus. Jesus. Be like Jesus. It said it in the Bible. Put uh, put everything down. Throw put all put all of your shame, your guilt. What is connected to shame and guilt? All those things that you've been doing wrong is wrong. Lust, gluttony, addiction, etc., 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 etc. You put those things down, and you surrender. You surrender yourself to God. You pick up your cross, and you follow the footsteps. Of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Every single time you feel like you are scared or you feel like you want to do this, you know not to. Yet again, another, another explanation as to why this, the Holy Spirit is within you. I do this. This is this I I 100% this is what I do, man. Every morning, if every time you take a shower, I like to do this when I take a shower. I'll I'll I I go into prayer. It helps uh clean my clear my mind up a bit because of the the sound of the shower, the water coming down. And um I, I this is what's kind of funny is I've been I I knew that like the Muslims prayed like this. But, or the Jews, Jews and the Muslims and the, all the doing it, right? Um, I knew that they prayed.